So I'm gonna share with you in this video how to invest in property the right way in 2020. My name's Liam Ryan, I'm one of the co-founders of Assets for Life. If you're new to the channel, hey, leave me a comment. I'm really keen to hear what you think about property and where you're at in your journey. And just give me a nice like, uh, that will really, really help me. So we're in 2020 and investing today is gonna to be different than what we did in 2019. I'm gonna share this stuff with you right now. But first of all, why should you even be involved in property? Well, there are lots of opportunities in property right now. There's many ways in which you can make money in the property market. There's six or seven different income streams that you can be focusing on. And you can start small, you can start part-time, you can start even if you're a complete beginner, it's all about getting that first or next deal over the line. And what I love about property is you get income on autopilot, passive income. You also can make big lumps of cash and you can become completely, completely financially free over the next 12, 24, 36 months. One investor at a time, one deal at a time. And in my view, there's never been a better time to invest in property right now in 2020. Lots of opportunity. There's some fear out there at the moment in the world. We've got Brexit, we've got Donald Trump, we've got all the different currency fluctuations. And people that are sitting on the fence are going to miss out. You've got to take massive action. You've got to be involved right now. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to share with you um, when it comes to buying property in this video. You can buy and hold, and you can follow the buy, refurbish, refinance process where you can look to get literally houses for free once you've recycled all your money back out or you can trade property which is buy and sell so you can go find a house worst house best street you want to focus on the dirtiest ugliest smelliest house that you can possibly find you want to try and get it below market value you want to get in there, add lots of value, and then that value of the house increases. You sell it, you make a big lump of cash. Now, when you're buying and selling property, you are still trading time for money. So it is like having another job. If you don't get another property, you don't earn any more money. So what I'm gonna focus on in this video is really talking about the buy and hold strategy and some of the key things that you need to be focusing on so you can start to make money really, really quick. So number one, you've got to focus on using other people's money, OPM. You can go out there and you can use investors to help you build a property portfolio. The old traditional way of working even harder, doing more hours, getting a second job, setting up a business, to save for years and years and years to do deposit pots, that's the wrong way of doing things. You can get out there, you can find investors, you can do uh, low or no money down deals with your investors and you can create a win-win. So when you're buying property, remember that you're going to need about 25% of the purchase price. So let's say you find a house for 100,000 pounds, you can go get a mortgage, 75% loan to value, so you would need to find 25,000. And like I just explained, you can do that working with an investor. The next thing that I want you to be sure is that the rent that you're gonna be charging your tenants covers your mortgage. You wanna make sure that you are in positive cash flow. Okay, positive cash flow. So how do you work this out? Well, when you buy a property, you're gonna look in the area and you're gonna find what a typical two or three bedroom house is being rented out for. You're gonna do your comparables. And hey, let's just say, let's just say, uh, the properties in your area, they rent out for a thousand pounds a month, a thousand pounds per calendar month. 
and you are buying the property and let's say the property is valued at £200,000. So you're going to get your calculator out and you're going to put £200,000 which is the purchase price. Let's just say you get a mortgage at about 3%, so 3% per annum. So you're gonna times 200,000 by 3%, which comes in at 6,000 pounds. That's what you're gonna be paying yearly. And then you're gonna divide the 6,000 pounds by 12 months, which means your mortgage payment is 500 pounds. Well, hey, you're gonna be in positive cash flow. So let's say this is a single let property. Tenants are gonna pay you a thousand. You pay your mortgage 500. You are then left with 500 pound positive cash flow. And your tenants then pay the bills. They pay the council tax. Uh, the key thing is for you to have a good understanding of what your positive cash flow is going to be. So the next thing I want you to do is start looking on Rightmove, Zoopla and all of the property portals. You can do this on your phone, you can do it on your laptop, become obsessed with finding property deals. And when you go on to Rightmove, you can search oldest listing to newest listing. Do you think that if someone has had their property on the market for say six or 12 months and it's not selling, that they're going to be highly motivated to take an offer. So get on these portals. Uh, when you set up your account, set up a separate email address. Don't use the one that you currently use. Set up a separate email address because you're going to be inundated with emails and notifications and potential deals. And just spending 20, 30, 40 minutes a day online, you can start to build up a really nice, juicy pipeline of fantastic property deals that could be your next property investment. Now that you've been looking at all of these potential juicy deals, what you've got to do now is pick up the phone and start making the phone calls to the agents and booking lots of viewings. Now, a great way to get started if you're working full time or you've got a business is you can make your phone calls during the week in your lunch breaks and uh, the breaks that you get during the day and then go on block viewings on a Saturday or Sunday. Some agents will see you on a Sunday. Uh, typically, Saturday mornings are a great time to get on lots of viewings. And you can go and do 15 or 20 viewings between the hours of nine and one on a Saturday. The more viewings you do, the more opportunities you are going to find and I would highly recommend that when you find a good opportunity if it's your first second or third deal you don't want to get involved with anything that's too complicated buy something simple as your first investment property you know you don't necessarily want to go and uh, buy something which is listed uh, you don't want to buy something uh, where there's major structural damage to the property, buy something where you're getting it below market value and you can go do maybe a new bathroom, new kitchen, uh, maybe you can do a small extension out the back and generally give it a nice lick of paint to increase the value. Keep your property purchases nice and simple in the beginning and as you build your confidence, as you build your cash flow, as you build your team, then you can get involved with more complex deals. The next point that you need to be aware of is negotiating with the agents. Never be afraid to offer lower than the asking price. Now you need to be able to justify the offer. So you, you know, let's say it's up for 200,000. Hey, the chances are you're not gonna go and offer 100,000 pounds. So you wanna be cheeky but you don't wanna be in a position where you offend the agent or you offend the vendor. So you can ask questions like, uh, to the agent, you can say, look, how many offers have currently been put forward? What type of movement is there with the purchase price? Why is the vendor looking at selling? You wanna try and get an idea of why the person is selling and what is their motivation? higher the motivation, the better chance you have of securing that deal below market value. 
And when you secure below market value, you've got equity in the property from the very beginning. The next thing that I want you to focus on is get good tenants in your property. You want to make sure that you reference check your tenants. You want to make sure that you've got working tenants in your property. And by getting good tenants, it means you're going to get paid on time. It means you're going to keep the tenants for the long term. And it means that that property is just going to tick over and you're not going to have to do a great deal of work. Uh, passive income. You know, you put the tenants in, you do the work once, and that money just keeps coming to you time after time after time. And in some of my single let properties, I've had tenants in those properties for many, many, many years. My business partner, Jay Munoz, he's had one tenant now for over nine years in one of their properties. So when you're doing single lets, there's a good chance you scratch their back, they scratch your back, and you look after one another. And by having good tenants in, you want to make sure that you manage the property correctly. Now, personally, I don't manage any of my properties. Um, I don't find it very interesting. I wouldn't be a very good property manager. I'm not the most organized. I, I, I don't know about you or where you're at at the moment, but I like to focus on finding more deals and finding more investors. So what I would recommend, so it can be hands-free, is outsourcing the management to a property management company, okay? Yes, they're gonna charge you for their time, and they might charge a 10 or 12% of the gross rental income but if that means it's completely hands-free and you can go and get more deals you can find more investors you can work on your brand you can grow this business build your team then it's definitely worth outsourcing the property management and one thing to leave you with if you look at all successful people in the UK and really around the world, if you look at wealthy people, the one thing that we have in common is that we have a property-backed business. We have assets kicking out income. That income is then used to fuel your lifestyle. And if you're watching this and you're currently in a job or you've got a business, Maybe there's not enough money at the end of the month. I'm telling you, becoming a professional property investor is gonna be one of the best decisions you ever, ever, ever make. I've now personally trained hundreds, thousands of people over the last four and a half years through property education, business education. I absolutely love seeing people turn their lives around and you are literally just one or two deals away. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. So remember those key points, get out there, take the action, do whatever's required, and you will generate massive cash flow over the next 12 months. If you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe. Leave me a comment below. I'm really interested to hear more about you. If you've got a question to ask me, do it right now. Ask me a question. I'll personally answer it for you. And if you want to know how you can build a property portfolio using none of your own money, then go and get my best-selling book, Bricks, Mortar and Other People's Money. Now, you can get it on Amazon for $9.99 or for a limited time only, you can get this completely free of charge. The link is in the comments below in the description click on the link and this will be delivered to your door completely free over the next couple of days thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in another one of my videos